There is a lot on the line this weekend for the Philadelphia Eagles and a lot of reasons. And we're going to talk about the Arizona Cardinals. And they're pretty banged up going into Sunday. Because I've seen enough horror movies to know any weirdo wearing a mask is never friendly. Yeah, yo, what is going on, guys? I hope everyone's having a fantastic day today. So I want to go over some news for the Philadelphia Eagles and a lot of implications for this weekend. And if you're watching this before the Dallas game versus Detroit on Saturday night to after that game, a lot is on the line this weekend. Really, the next two weeks regarding the 49ers could play the Rams the last game. Could be a loss there. Who knows? But Dallas and Detroit is interesting. Dallas is home. And they're always good at home. And, you know, this could go between Eagle fans saying that, you know, if the Dallas Cowboys win this game on Saturday, then yeah, the Eagles will keep second seed. But the Eagles still have to win the rest of their games. They still got to go into MetLife and win against the Giants, regardless of what's going on. Um, because things can either go real, you know, down south pretty quick in a bad direction, or the Eagles could keep the second seed. Um keep that second seed and where it would be the easiest run or somewhat of the mo more comfortable run. And the Eagles will somewhat have a playoff, uh, a playoff game at home in there. Um, but like I said, if the Eagles went out and the 49ers lose, um, you know, uh, Eagles could take first seed, but I'm not going to put too much into that. To be honest, I'm really just looking forward to the game on Sunday against the Arizona Cardinals. But let's take a look at, obviously, the injuries for the Philadelphia Eagles. And the Eagles are obviously getting healthier by the day. Um, so it looks like, you know, Slay is going to be out for another week. Um, he will be back for the Giants game. They, and then you know what? They might even sit him out for that game. Who knows? Um, but he will be, apparently, the rumor is one more week for Darius Slay and hopefully Bradbury. He's kicked to the curb. And hopefully, Keely Ringo will get that number two spot come next week. But questionable, Zach Cunningham with the knee and Albert O with the hamstring. Um, and since Albert O is out, and depending on where, you know, if he was even on the active roster at this point, because I know they've been switching guys around like crazy. Landon Dickerson at left guard is back. And Avante Maddox is back into the lineup. Thank God. I'm actually really happy, very excited that he's back. It's like, it's like an old friend we haven't seen in a while. And he's back at the nickel spot in... He's got to play this Sunday, and I think he will. It's kind of showing that he probably most likely will. He needs to get some game time under his belt because, you know, you can't just rest him, rest him, rest him until a playoff game. You know, you're not going to have a first-round bye depending on what happens. So, you know, you got to get this guy playing, get this guy acclimated. Practice is practice, but game time minutes is game time minutes, and hitting someone in another jersey and facing somebody else is going to be the big difference for him. So, I'm actually um, really excited for him to come back and to see, you know, how much the secondary is going to improve um, going forward a little bit. So very excited um, in that regard with Avante Maddox and the injuries. Obviously, Zach Cunningham back is going to be nice to pair him up with, you know, uh, Shaq Leonard that, you know, Shaq Leonard had a pretty strong game against the Giants. Really kind of, you know, six, seven tackles in a sack. Hasn't had a sack since 2020. You know, so there's some there's some good. I mean, the Eagles are getting healthy, and that's a good thing. Towards you know, uh, for the playoffs, you want as many guys healthy. But we have to get out of these two games, okay? We have to get out of these two games healthy. Um, you know, so we have to be careful uh, with all that. So that's really good news regarding the injury front. And by playoffs, we should be ready to go. And there's no excuses at that point. Now regarding. Jonathan Gannon and the Arizona Cardinals. Now, there's one thing I'm going to hold up for Nick Sirianni when he was on WIP saying, you know, we I want to make Jonathan Gannon as uncomfortable in Philadelphia as possible. Like, he said all this shit, and you know what? You better bring it because two things I'm looking at here. Number one, they are the second worst team in the league. They give up the second most points in the league with 27 points. And number two... They give up 144, 145 yards. Their defense gives up that much yards on the ground, 144, 145 yards, okay? There's no excuse why you can't run on this team, okay? No excuse at all, because if they're giving up that much on the ground, we're going to pass the ball 80 times <laughs> in this game. I feel like we do the complete opposite. 
And when when Nick Sirianni said that on the radio, I like I'm gonna hold that guy accountable for that. I'm holding him accountable for everything he says. And yeah, I'm not letting that one go. And trust me, if they lose this game, trust me, it's not gonna be good. Now, I know they have some injuries. I know that Hollywood Brown uh, is on IR right now, so they won't even be with their number one receiver, okay, which is great. You know, you don't wish injuries, but that definitely helps no matter what. Um, obviously, the tight end is really good. You know, I know we've been we've been struggling with tight ends, but hopefully we don't have to put too much on Hollywood Brown now since he won't be in this game and they can start doubling up on somebody else if they have to. Now, the only thing that I kind of worry about going to this game is Kyler Murray. We all know what we do against scrambling quarterbacks, okay? Uh, it's been bad all year. It doesn't matter what quarterback it was. Scram any quarterback that can scramble. And Kyler Murray, besides, um, really, besides Lamar Jackson, to be honest with you, is, is pretty damn good. I mean, he's really fast, could run backwards 25 yards and come up and make a big play. Now, Kyler Murray is actually coming off an injury, and hes I don't think he's 100% healthy because he finally practiced the other day. I don't know what the injury was. I kind of tried to look it up. I didn't see it, um, but if anyone knows, let me know. But he, uh, he's coming off some type of injury, just practiced for the first day yesterday, and I don't think he's 100% going into this game. So interesting to see how Kyler Murray plays, but they have got to contain the outside. Defensive ends, I understand they want to get that inside pass rush, but... Every time they do that, I felt like they did that against the Cowboys before. I feel like they've been doing that the last few weeks. And I really hate that defensive end slide inside. Um, they go inside, and then, you know, the outside leverage is there for the quarterback. And Kyler Murray could probably win this game on his feet uh, if we're not containing, okay? And that's going to be a big problem. Kyler Murray is really the big problem here. I would love, there'd be nothing more than I want than to, for Jonathan Gannon to, you know, get obliterated in this game okay and not wish he would come back to philly ever again okay uh, this might be the only chance he has because you know who knows if gannon will even be a head coach next year at this point the way that team is running right now but the one thing i will say is that jonathan gannon's defensive line they can they, he knows how to pass rush okay they're good at the pass rush and they will you know what the blueprint is on jalen hurts is you know, rush him to his left side and make him scramble to the right and a play will go nowhere. And hopefully this offense going to this game is going to run the fucking ball out of DeAndre Swift. I mean, they're giving up a lot on the ground. And you know what? If their ego and their own consumption of what they think is still working, they think is still working, then it's going to be a problem. Because at the end of the day, if the Eagles lose one of these two games, especially this game against Arizona, if they lose this, I have no faith that they're going to get their shit together going to the playoffs. It's just what it is. No, they're not saving plays. They're not saving Swift for the playoffs. They're not saving all these players in the back end of their jean pocket. It's not happening. That's not what's going on at all. And I don't know why people still believe that at this point. I don't. And it starts to make you think like, John, Nick Sirianni wanted the same defense going into this year. And it's funny how... Jonathan Gannon leaves. He keeps the same defense, and now they're worse uh, with, with two other coaches. But I have to give Matt Patricia more time. I think the last two weeks have been great. But, you know, the, obviously the Eagles have given up the bigger play with Matt Patricia. But we're getting a lot of youth, a nice youth movement in production from some of the guys that we do have. So um, it's been nice to see all that from some of them. But there, there's nothing more. I'm holding Nick Sirianni accountable for the words that he says on the radio um, to – to what he displays for us on the field. And I think that's what's most important. And yes, this weekend, if you're watching this before the Dallas-Detroit game, it's really important because now the Eagles control their own destiny. They have a playoff game regardless, but some other teams control our destiny just a little tiny bit because if Detroit wins out, we'll probably be third or fifth seed, depending on what other teams do. If the 49ers lose and the Eagles win out, they can get first seed. If the 49ers win and we went out, you know, depending on what Detroit does, and you can have, you know, you, you could be the second seed facing, obviously, the, 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 you know, the last seed, whatever the case may be, um, whether it's the seventh seed against, you know, I don't know if it's going to be the Vikings, it's going to be Detroit, it's going to be, I mean, there's, you know, it could be Tampa Bay. I, I don't know. I haven't looked at the, the tree uh, too much um, and what teams have to win and lose. I've been looked at a few things here and there, but we'll know more by the end of Saturday night, you know, so the... I think if obviously the Cowboys lose 
um, the Eagles win the division, but the division is what it is. You know, yes, the Eagles can be a repeating division winner, which the, which the NFC East hasn't had since, what, 2004, whatever it was, okay? Which is great. That's just bragging rights. I don't even really care about that. What I care about is getting the easiest way through the playoffs, and that is keeping the second seed. And obviously, if the Eagles win out and the 49ers lose against the Rams for their last game of the season, because there's no way they're winning against the Commanders, the Commanders are beyond hurt. They're out two cornerbacks for Sunday. So I don't even know at this point if they can, if they can even, you know, I don't know if the Commanders can even last. They, they play tough all year, but I, I don't know. At this point, they're pretty much falling apart. Um, yeah, and and, you, and, you, and and Brissett's playing, you know, for, for Washington. So that might help them because Sam Howell is, it got benched last game. So we'll see what happens. But I think it's going to be really important. So we may control our own destiny. We might have a playoff game, but Eh, we don't control our own destiny fully, but they still, the Eagles still have to win out regardless. So if the Cowboys lose Saturday night, the Eagles win the division. And if they, if the Cowboys win Saturday night, then, you know, the Eagles will have the second seed if they win out. Depending on the 49ers win or, or lose, it doesn't matter. That implicates first seed if they can get it. If they come out with first seed, trust me, I'll be shocked over that. And they'll have a week off, an extra week off, and then you'll have a playoff game at home, and there is nothing more than I would like. For, I would love for them to get the first seed just so there's more pressure on the Eagles because whether they're a second or – it's still pressure regardless whether you're a second, third, fourth, fifth seed, whatever the case may be. But when you're a first seed and just say the Eagles do get it by like the Rams beat the 49ers, the Eagles win out, the Eagles get first seed, win the division, and they have an extra week off. And they get just demolished in that NFC. They get demolished, okay, in, in the divisional round, whatever whatever the case may be. Okay, if that happens, oh, forget it. Then that's more pressure. That's more pressure for the Eagles to be first seed. More pressure and, oh, you know, then, then you know, Howie Roseman in the front office will be looking down saying, oh, you had first seed, you had all this time off, you had all this time to prepare, and you blew it. So... I would love them to get it just so it gives that pressure more, more pressure on the coaches. We're going to find out. We're going to find out real quick, you know, if this is going to get better within two weeks, because if it doesn't I'm telling you, it's going to be a problem, but that's pretty much the news on obviously the Arizona Cardinals, their injuries, Jonathan Gannon, what Nick said and the Eagles injuries. The Eagles are getting healthy. Land Dickerson Maddox comes back on Sunday, which is great. And Zach Cunningham could be uh, could be back as well to pair him with Sha Shaq Leonard is awesome. So all I gotta say is second worst and and I mean getting scored on twenty seven I mean twenty seven points a game I mean pretty bad and then you're giving up over one hundred forty yards a game on the ground and if the Eagles don't run the football with the right fucking guy all game I'm going off. You know how you know how it is. You know how it's gonna be. So let me know what you guys think about the matchup between the Eagles and the Arizona Cardinals at the link, and uh, just in general of what can happen uh, after this weekend. You guys have a great day. I'll see you guys on the next one. Chicks, what up, Flawless? Peace out, guys. Peace.